Devers uh, crew uh, will wake up on Monday, uh, targeted wake up time of 3.36 a.m. Kennedy Space Center uh, landing opportunities on uh, Tuesday are 11.32 a.m. Central and 1.06 p.m. Central. Good afternoon and welcome to today's briefing on SDS-118 mission. Uh, there is still uncertainty with a storm like this, but, um, but right now it's looking, uh, looking uh, pretty good from our standpoint. Uh, Johnson Space Center is going to be open for normal operations tomorrow and the local communities are in just what they call a monitoring mode, which I would say is so let's watch the track and see what happens kind of mode. Uh, we will meet again tomorrow, but the, uh, the threat is certainly uh, somewhat less than it was the last two days. And Endeavor, have a good landing. Thank you very much, Scott and all your crew, and have a good trip to Earth. And say hello at home, everybody from us too. This view of the International Space Station from a distance of about 575 feet as uh, Endeavour moves to a point directly above the complex. Again, we do not have a KU band communications capability to provide video at this time. We're watching this through the sequential still video system through the S-band communication system. In the meantime, you're looking at live television from the lab cameras on the International Space Station of Endeavour. Now oh, just over a thousand feet away from the International Space Station. Of course, today was undocking day, and uh, undocking, in a word, really was flawless. It was completely by the book, uh, absolutely per picture perfect. Uh, we undocked at 6.56 a.m. Central Time, right on time. I uh, did a couple of separation maneuvers, uh, 30 minutes and 60 minutes after undocking, and we were uh, on our way away from station. Space.com and Space News for John. It sounds, I guess, looking at the track and then hearing your discussion earlier today, 